So the Windows 11 24H2 is almost here. Actually, it is already available for some people. If you go to the Windows Updates section and check for updates and make sure that you have this option enabled to get the latest updates as soon as they are available. Now, if you click on check for updates, there is a chance you might get a 24H2 update. This is called uh, 24H2 update for seekers, the people who are looking for the 24H2 update early. It's not going to be available for everyone, but yeah, it is there. Some people will get this, have already got this actually. Now, I have been daily driving uh, 24H2 on my main PC, and this video is about uh, my experience, whole experience, what I think about this, what is the performance, and everything, okay? So it's been almost a month or three weeks we can say month right it's yeah okay <laughs> i even did a video uh yeah you can see three weeks ago so i upgraded my main pc to 24h2 the reason why i did this because i wanted to try this early plus if i find any bugs or anything like that i would make a video about it that was the whole purpose of me upgrading to 24h2 and soon after that almost like two or three days later I made this video, do not upgrade to Windows 11 24H2 if you have NVIDIA GPU. Uh, the original title was uh, do not upgrade to 24H2 if you play games. Okay, I had to change it because some people said that I don't have that issue and all that. If you're interested, you can go there and watch this. Basically, when you alt tab on 24H2, when you're gaming in full screen, you'll get a black screen for almost five to 10 seconds which is really really annoying and let's just say many people just didn't like it okay <laughs> let me summarize this video for you he doesn't know what he's talking about okay yeah many people were saying that this is wrong and all that but you know i didn't make any response video no nothing like that i kept going uh, i did what i was supposed to do you know, I reported the bug. Basically, I made a video. <laughs> okay. Now, here I am again with final video of 24H2. Basically, after upgrading to 24H2. This is third video. And here are my thoughts. First of all, 24H2 runs flawlessly. There are no issues at all. It's really good. I upgraded from 23H2. It kept all my settings as it is. It ran just like 23H2 smoothly, no problem. There are a few new features or some updated apps and settings and all that. Like for example, the task manager looks new. It has the new icon and it also looks a little bit different and all that. Okay, uh, basically I have no issues in 24H2, but alt tab on full screen is still here even though it's almost ready for final release now i found this article on pc world which actually resembles my issue with 24h2 the alt tab uh, black screen issue you can see here alt tab when you're playing game in full screen finally someone is actually also having this issue or someone big is acknowledging this issue and i tried bunch of trips tricks uh, changing cables changing hdmi ports on my display i tried everything but nothing could solve it okay and uh, i recorded some 23h2 video and 24h2 video on full screen gameplay. So just to make this video, I actually did a dual boot of 23H2 and 24H2. And yeah, I recorded this video. So here is the 23H2 footage. Here I'm playing a Valorant in full screen and I'm doing Alt Tab. You can see it's instant. Yeah, it blinks for one second, but still it's instant. Okay, it's in full screen mode, the game and it's running perfectly, okay? Now, here is the 24H2. Same game, same PC, same specs, same everything, playing a game in full screen. And here I'm doing a alt tab. Yeah, I just black screen for entire three to five seconds, I guess. This is really annoying. 
you know, especially for me, because I didn't have this issue on previous versions of Windows. Okay, I know. Okay, let me let me uh, try to explain this. If you haven't set up your monitor properly and haven't done proper settings, you can have this issue. Okay, maybe you have set up a wrong refresh rate on your monitor, but when you game, it goes automatically to the maximum, let's say 144 or something. I have done everything. Uh, my settings are okay, all the refresh rates, there is no HDR, no nothing like that. I even changed the HDMI port, but I'm having the same issue only in 24H2. I have the NVIDIA 2070 Super, and uh, some people in my previous video said that uh, they don't have this issue because uh, they have AMD. Maybe this is just the NVIDIA related issue. Maybe this can be fixed via software update, the new driver update. But for now, yeah, this is the only issue that I have found in 24H2. Now, here is the funny thing. <laughs> if you play full screen game on 24H2, you gain more FPS, at least for me in Valorant, when I'm on custom game alone, I'm getting like 500 plus fps it's reaching the 500 plus fps but when i'm on 23h2 full screen it doesn't reach 500 it's a little bit lower like 400 maybe 50 80 something but in 24h2 it's 500 plus which is actually insane but if you play games on full screen on 24h2 uh, and then you do alt tab you'll get the black screen my phone's camera isn't that great so i'm sorry about the video quality now i did a, another test i plugged my second monitor to motherboard directly so it uses the igpu intel integrated gpu now if i set the game to full screen and do the alt tab there is no issue so maybe this is a nvidia specific issue i don't know but Still, this is an issue. I have been using 24H2 for almost a month now, you know, daily driving it. I have zero issue, except this one. This alt tab is really annoying. Sadly, I don't have AMD GPUs, so I could test on AMD, but uh, yeah, that's that. I only have Nvidia and it only happens in Nvidia. Again, I did a Intel testing and it doesn't happen uh, on there, so. Again, maybe this is just an NVIDIA thing. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I will do a clean install of 24H2 once it gets released. By then, maybe this issue will get fixed. I don't know. But yeah, there is a hope. That's it with this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or you want to discuss on this topic, you can always do the comment and we can try to have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.